Hello, my name is uh, Sayyid Abbas Ali, I'm one of the myeloma physicians at Johns Hopkins. I work with a great uh, group of people at uh, Johns Hopkins who are all uh, focused on trying to find novel ways to treat multiple myeloma. Um, we have uh, various different strategies that we're exploring and one of our uh, frontline strategies in fact is what's called an allogeneic myeloma vaccine. And this was actually studied in an earlier trial by my colleague Ivan Borello, uh, where we saw some very exciting results which led us to this phase 2 trial. And what it essentially involves is taking bits and pieces of myeloma cells and giving them with a, what's called an adjuvant to help make the immune response to this vaccine more robust uh, to patients who have a reasonably well-controlled myeloma that has low risk features. Uh, as we know that uh, for a large number of patients, myeloma does eventually relapse. And what we hope to do uh, by administering this vaccine to our patients in combination with Revlimid is to hopefully prevent the myeloma from coming back altogether by getting the immune system to learn how to fight the myeloma or to certainly give them a much longer progression-free survival. Uh, we're very excited about this. It's a randomized double-blind placebo-controlled control, placebo trial and with three arms. Uh, so at least two of those arms will definitely get uh, GVAX and uh, uh, a third arm which has a placebo instead of GVAX. We combine this with Prevnar because we use this in an original trial, but there's a placebo component in there as well and we are actively accruing patients to this trial. We expect to see some interesting things. What we've learned from uh, um, studying responses to vaccines in the lab, we have learned that some patients can be pushed into a deeper remission. And what we've interestingly also learned is that some patients may, who have a generally well-controlled myeloma, but still have some evidence of it, uh, may not necessarily pushed into a much deeper remission, but still continue go on to have a much longer progression-free survival, go on not to relapse at all. And uh, there are very robust figures from uh, our previous trial, uh, which are ex very exciting. And so um, patients are enrolling at this point in time. Uh, and we find that this is an attractive option for a lot of patients uh, who may not uh, necessarily want terribly aggressive therapy. Why do I say that is because this vaccine to date has appeared to be very well tolerated. People don't have major side effects. Um, you know, there may be some injection site reactions, which can happen with an injection, but these are also extremely well tolerated. And so from our point of view, this is a very simple, straightforward uh, method in combination with Revlimid uh, that involves people getting monthly vaccine for about six months for a total of three or four doses, and then an annual vaccine for the next two years after that, uh, that may help keep the myeloma away or gone completely for an extended period of time. In general, vaccines are a promising modality for myeloma. There are data that have been presented here at uh, the uh, IMW meeting that show that people that uh, zero convert from regular vaccines have uh, really, you know, there's some suggestion that they may have uh, better outcomes in the long run. And so there is this overall feeling in the myeloma world that when you can improve the immune system's ability to detect the myeloma and improve myeloma surveillance, which is what vaccines we think help us do, then people may have longer and better responses. There are other groups, uh, such as the group here at, uh, in Boston at uh, Harvard, and as well as uh, Dr. Kuzelbosch's group in, uh, at MD Anderson, that are also exploring various different kinds of vaccines, including dendritic cell vaccines and other peptide-based vaccines. Allogeneic myeloma vaccine, and in fact, uh, allogeneic myeloma vaccine we call GVAX. GVAX has been explored in other heme malignancies in solid tumors as well, with very, very interesting findings. But uh, if one looks carefully at the data, we think that the place that it's actually the most promising is multiple myeloma.